Angels is a foster care placement agency. So we recruit, we train, and we walk alongside foster families throughout the foster care process. Uh, we support them, we give them wraparound services, and we help children find permanency, whether it's with our families or back home. Uh, we, we mentor biological families as well during the process, and our goal is that children remain with their families, but if they can't, we want them to remain in our home so that they're not traveling throughout the system. Being a wraparound service agency for foster families, we started to notice that one of the main reasons that families were turning children down for placement was that they didn't have daycare. They didn't have child care during the day while they worked. And most of the families today are dual income families. So we decided to do something about it. So we came up with a program and we have a great partnership with the YMCA already. Um, to form a partnership with the YMCA and create the first trauma-informed child development center for kids age zero to three. Jennifer Abney, the Angels Foster Family Network founder and executive director, has a plan to provide child care for foster children in Edmond. She's been working on her idea for two years and has raised $3 million and teamed up with the YMCA of Greater Oklahoma City. Abney figured the perfect location for her child care center would be next to Edmonds Mitch Park YMCA, but she ran into a roadblock when the Edmonds City Council members said she could not lease the land next to the YMCA. City leaders didn't want to give up parkland. There's, there is no question that yours is a wonderful organization doing wonderful things for, for people, and um, I would love to have it in, in Edmond, and I hope you'll find a way to have it in Edmond. But, <clears throat> to echo the comments about the park, I, I, I don't see how we can set that precedent of giving up park space uh, for this, and it opens the door for, for other things. The issue today is parkland, and everyone that knows me that knows me that I love kids, I love trails, and that's one of the reasons why I'm up here to help pre pre preserve and protect that. So there's nothing I can say negative about your program, okay? It is just that we have limited amount of park space here in Edmond. All of the city council, they're very, very supportive of this program. They all want this program and they would love to have it in Edmond, but they feel so strongly that it's on park land and that they want to keep the park land strictly park land and have nothing on it. Um, for the community. They said that they're not purchasing any more park land in this area, in those zip codes, and they want to keep it open. And we completely understand that, but we do feel that this is a project that serves all. Abney says she isn't going to give up on her plan. I think it would be an incredible opportunity for us all.